uh, 10 minutes early, but also I realized I put the wrong date on the Facebook channels. Hmm. Well, I just did live now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Let's fix that up. See who comes on mm. with us tonight. We just got on. I don't have it live. Oh, there we are. There you are, baby girl. You got it. Oh, there we are. There you are. Live now. You got it. Is that you on there? Are you the first one on? Yes. I am the only one. My first viewer. First my first viewer. My first viewer. Yes. My first viewer. Oh, now I got to deal with everybody wishing me happy birthdays. Hi, Mistress Mary Beth. How are you? Hi, baby cakes. It's my happy birthday day. Yeah, in seven minutes. Eight I will be 62. A magical number. Six and two are eight. Eight divided by two is four. Four divided by two is two. And two divided by one is one. What does that have to do with anything? It means fucking nothing. Oh. All I know is one is the loneliest number you can never know. Two is the saddest one. It's the loneliest number since number one. One is the loneliest number. One is the loneliest number. One is the loneliest number. Yeah. Well, well, well. It's just us. Nobody's here yet, but they'll get here. Well, it's a little early tonight. Ah. For little Amber to come on. Mm. And that kid from Aussie Land. Chase. So they'll be here. Yeah. Gonna take another. I will say something. I will say happy birthday to me. Birthday. Birthday. I don't know what I said. But I said something. So let's see. Bith oh, we got somebody here. Bithray. Who was it? It says happy birthday. Bither day. Bither day. day. Yeah. Happy bither day to me. Happy bither day to me. Happy bither day, Papa Chubber today. Happy bither day. In my in my um country. Oh hi, Chris. Chris Wiz just home from JB. Routine at Minute Music Cafe. Oh, Minnesota Music Cafe. Right on, man. Nice. Two dogs. We hope to get out there soon, man. Huh. Uh, I'm drinking a cup of broth with Mistress Mary Beth, who's prepping for colonoscopy. So she's not full of shit. Not at the moment. Can you spank when you're having so many poops? To be rough, huh? I would imagine. If you so, Chris, them, did you have a type. gig there tonight at the Music Cafe in Minnesota? Oh, is that JB and the Routine, maybe? I don't know who JB is. Me either. It says, just got home from JB and the Routine. So, I'm thinking that's who we went to see. Oh, you? so who's JB and the Routine, man? I guess we should Google that. Mrs. Mary Beth, you are my official Google. I think I'm going to play there, as a matter of fact. Somebody was just talking to me about Minnesota yesterday. I think I played there before, too. Happy birthday, Bither Day. And look, what was it called? JB and the Routine. Well, honey, you know, I think we should have a birthday joint being. It's going to be my birthday soon. Yeah. 
And why shouldn't we smoke a big, fat fucking joint? I agree. For my 62nd birthday. Just like I did for my 14th birthday. Larry! Oh, look at this. Amber! They got videos. We were, what kind of videos? Of, uh... Whoever this is. Oh, Jellybean was playing? No shit, man. Jellybean was the drummer from the time, man. He used to come see me when I played at Famous Dave's, man. He's a good dude. I know he um, supports the local scene. That's them. Yeah, that sounds good, man. Yeah. All right. What's up, man? Well, a day of, um, yeah. Yeah, we know. We know about Jelly Bean. We know about the time because we are big fans of His Purple Majesty. Oh, look, I left the room and all these people came running over. They came over to see you, Mistress Mary Beth. Ha <laughs> 420, Larry one every 10 Sarah seconds Amber's for 70 here. minutes. Silver wow. Loggerhead. That's a new one. George, George, I'm grabbing the greenery to join the sesh. Okay, you go ahead, Amber. Today's this very special session because it's Papa Chubby's birthday. So, um,. We're going to celebrate. We're going to smoke a big fatty fatty. Hey, we're getting a bunch of people on already, baby. Look at that. I know. I'm saying hi. Hi, everybody. Say hi, Mr. Larry Mary said Beth. he just got back from a gig. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate that. I got gigs this weekend, man. I'm playing in Millville, New Jersey on Friday, and I'm playing in Connecticut on Saturday. Ah. Because I must. Because you must? Yeah, I got to do some gigs. Yeah, I know. I got to rock, man. I got to boogie woogie because it's in me. It's got to come out, but right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. Um, Yeah, I met Jelly Bean years ago at um Famous Dave's. He was a cool dude. He had on a big leather top hat, just like he did in the time. And um, I was very uh, honored to meet such a local music sensation. I really am going to miss Famous Dave's, mm. man. I like the rib. So It's good in the good. Yeah. And today I spent the day driving around yeah. having guitar fi guitars fixed. Yeah, that was a busy guitar day. Yeah, well, you know, that's part of the game, man. It's part of what I do. So I find these old instruments, but sometimes they are not. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear about your brother, Chris. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. So he, he, two mic on it. You see that? Oh, dude. Yeah. That's horrible, man. It is harsh. I'm so. Sorry to hear that, man. That's a bummer. Yeah. Well, rest in peace to Chris's brother, man. Chris's brother, Mike. Mary, Mrs. Mary Beth lost her brother not so long ago. And I've lost many brothers, but not biological because I don't have any. But um, what are you going to do, man? It's part of life. It's true. Silly. That's why birthdays always kind of like <laughs> depress me, too. It's like it should be called one day closer to death day. <laughs> but every day happy is one day closer to death day to you. <laughs> happy one less year to live day to you. <laughs> but that's the truth. Oh, this is good. It is good, right? The broth. I'm not being depressed though. I'm I'm gonna be cheerful, man. I got a lot going on though, man. I'm kind of stressed out, Mr. Mary Beth. I know. Maybe I would benefit from a stress relief spanking. Problem. You do those sessions, don't you? Don't you do stress home? relief sessions? Yep. For like wealthy businessmen and. Yeah, they gotta have money, man. Yeah, you gotta have that money, man. Otherwise, why am I wasting my time on them? Exactly. Not like me, where. Where what? I, you know, I get it for free. Oh well. Ah, uh, thanks, Chris. 
Well, I'm sure Mike was an awesome dude, especially because he had such excellent taste in music. <laughs> so let's toast to Mike. No. Mrs. Mary Beth. Wait, hold on. Let me get my cup. Here's to Mike. Cheers, Mike. Here's to brothers. Here's to brothers. All right. So we're going to smoke a big fat fatty. Big fat fatty. Right on, Amber. Amber's right with us. All right. We like Amber. Yeah, she's quite entertaining. Amber, you're going to be our mascot. <laughs> We've decided. We've discussed it. And we're going to have you be our little mascot. And that's just how it is. You've been drafted. She said sold. <laughs> sold. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't sell you, Amber. It's not that kind of uh, arrangement yet. <laughs> No. <laughs> what are you, Mr. Bill? Remember Mr. Oh, Bill? Mr. Bill, I love Mr. Bill. He was great. I used to have a Mr. Bill doll. Oh. I like dolls. I like little toys and toys and trinkets and trinkets. whatnot. I'm rolling a big fat fatty. And we're gonna smoke it. It's twelve oh two. Happy birthday to you. you. I'm not 63. Two. I'm just 62. What were you going to do? Oh, look, we got Trauma Mama, too, now. Trauma Mama, what up? <laughs> we're getting quite a crew on this yeah, feed, yeah. man. I'm liking these It's people. a different crew than we had on mm -hmm. Facebook, man. Yeah, um. Well. I, I wish those people would find us, but this is a great crew, man. We, we've been having a lot of fun with you. Yeah. You can't dance, Chris. Of course you can dance. That's why the Minneapolis beat was so important, huh. because it proved. You made a cake. Is it full of weed? <laughs> I'm rolling a big. But chicks dig him. Okay. Chicks dig you. All right. Well, right on, man. And well, they should, Chris. You know why chicks dig me? Because I got weed. I go up to chicks. I'm like, hey. I got weed. <laughs> you want to smoke some weed? <laughs> and then meet my wife and she'll give you a spanking? Mm. Mm. I'm a nasty guy. Put nasty some fella. Can of butter in it. Oh, nice, Trevor. I just made a whole batch of can of butter. Because Mistress Mary Beth got me for my birthday a cannabis butter infuser a cannabis infuser and a friend of mine many years ago gave me jars it's two so huge nice. jars of teeth and i still have some so i have all this can of butter but i haven't used it yet and um i've just been eating it like <laughs> on toast and whatnot in coffee and it's been doing good. It's a good job. It's good. I like me like you. So it's 12.02. Oh, Jace is back too. Hey, Jace. What's going on, buddy? It's my birthday today. I got my 66 Strat refretted. Mm -hmm. I dropped off a 66 Jazzmaster to get refretted from my buddy Joe Taino, who is the coolest guy in the world. Big shout out to Joe. Jose. Excellent dude. Excellent dude. I think this could give us some more light. If we do that, see? Wow, look at that. I mean, it could. It could. Yeah. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. Uh, we don't really need it, though, do we? No. We don't need that. More light? <clears throat> Thanks, dude. It feels good to be 62. Yeah. Beats the fuck out of the alternative, which is not True. being 62. Mm -hmm. I am very grateful to be alive. <laughs> yeah, I made a pound and a half of can of butter. And um and it works cuz I ate some, but I can't exactly figure out the dose. I'm still learning how to do it too, man. Apparently to make gummies, you can make them with butter too. Oh, thank you, Amber. I plan on staying here with us for quite some time. I'm enjoying life way too much. I had too many close calls in my life. There were times in my life where I did not value the gift of life, and I mm. regret that. I regret not being in a place where I could see how valuable every day and every minute is. 
No, I thought you were from fucking Minneapolis, Chris. <laughs> what what day is today? As of right now? Yeah. March 31st, 12.06. No, it's the 31st. So I, Eastern Standard man, Time. Man, I don't know what's up. Okay, wait, I got to fix Facebook what? notifications. Because I had it right the first time. Yeah, that's I what put, I was saying. I put the 30th on it now. It doesn't. <laughs> no, it does. Okay. Edit post. 31. Yeah. 31. I got static in my hair again. Uh-oh. But I have different like colored you, hairs today. Amber. I can't figure out how to say your name, Amber. McKinjay. Amber McKinjay. McKinjay. I guess. Mm. I don't know. Get back <laughs> to the chart. King. Is it really? It's because I'm here. You are. Oh, she's the static. Yeah. that's Amber, are static. you being naughty again, Amber? Mm -hmm. Amber. Amber. <laughs> Trauma mama. Central. Oh, you're in Central. There. Central, Central Standard Time, which is. Shh, shh. Amber, you can't hide your naughtiness. <laughs> Naughty girls are naughty girls. That's just the way it is. It's the way it is. When you meet a girl that you like a lot. And you fall in love and she loves you not. <laughs> All right. We're going to talk about some shit in a minute. I just got to fix some this. Some shit. Shit. I'm going to light this joint up. Well, yeah. I'm drinking my vegetable broth. Clear liquids. <laughs> okay. So I had three Edit oil post. licks today and liquids. All right. Ooh. It's a fun day. Good for you. You're going to get really skinny. Yeah, right? The crash diet. You are, man. All right, so here we are. We're back. Thank you, Conrad. Now, all these people are wishing me happy birthday on Facebook. And um, yeah. I wish they wouldn't. Yeah, diet. normally I love food. but No, um, she's having a colonoscopy tomorrow. Yeah, so everything so has gotta to have. The nothing, yeah, the nothing day. Tasteless. And I ate a Big Mac, even though I said I wasn't going to have <laughs> fast food. I, I should probably get spanked for that. Mr. You will. You definitely for eat, will. Eating a big, a Big Mac. <laughs> oh. Ah! You went to the gun range. I love the gun range, Larry. Oh, I've never been. Oh, I went once. Okay. We got to go to the gun range, man. A friend of mine we owns a gun range. Shoot where we in, uh, Tequila yeah. for dinner. Oh. Dude, you got to watch that, man. Yeah, it'll creep up on you. Okay, here we go, Mr. Samaria Beth. Here's my birthday All joint. Right. Big old fat birthday joint of kind bud. Of various mixed kind buds. Well, let me just say, Amber, that the next time anybody needs to do this, the pills work fabulous. Mm. It's not an issue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. China logist. China -vologist. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. Something good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I'll write something on your butt cheek when you're sleeping. Yeah, you do that. I'll be like, I don't know. I'll figure something I'll out. Figure something out. Ah, oh, competition shooting. Yeah, no, I never tried that. Was my that uncle does that? My uncle Tony does competition shooting down in Florida. Mm -hmm. Larry, where are you, man? You in in uh, New Orleans or some shit like that, right? Or somewhere down south. I am definitely going to do the googly eyes thing. That's funny, man. You ladies are funny. I like you ladies. <laughs> you say some funny, funny things. Illinois. Illinois, man. Well, you know, I will say this about Illinois. There's a lot of fucking Nazis in Illinois. Ooh. I know you're not one of them, Larry, but 
my driving through rural Illinois, man, I've seen Ooh. a lot of questionable <laughs> shit. You know. And of course, that scene in um the Blues Brothers. One thing I hate is Illinois Nazis. Yeah, lots of soybean fields. Soybean fields, yeah. And cornfields with Monsanto. Ah. Be sure your wife is Write it on the right. Because right they position you on your left side for procedure. Oh, All right. Good well, look at that. Thank you, Trauma Mama. <laughs> I love it. We appreciate the info. I haven't had a colonoscopy in quite some time because I had two in my life and both were completely clean. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Ah. I'm really sorry about your bro, man, but at least you got his records, man, right? The bl Hey, Jace, the Blues <laughs> Brothers was a great movie. Hey, it comes From days. Indiana, got married, and moved across the border. Oh, I'm gonna play in. I'm playing at the Southern Indiana Blues Festival, Larry Long, in August. Very excited about that, and I'm doing a Midwest tour in August. With oh yeah, it's gonna be so cool, so cool to play this tour. Yes. What are you doing? Looking at my lips? Just looking at you. Why? Because I like you. You crack my ass with the brush. Well, you needed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, August something. Bradenton. The Bradenton Blues Festival. I'd like to play. I've played at that one before, but I'd like to get back up there, man. You know, the problem with Florida is that they got so many musicians down there. Yeah. It's hard for them to hire a Yankee. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, even though I come down to Florida and I kill it, I'm still a Yankee, man. And those Southerners, man, you know, they got a little thing against us Yankees. Even though a lot of them were Yankees at one time, but they got the problem with Florida. I always say that. You know, I always say, you know, I love Florida, but the problem with Florida is Florida, man. But having said that, Amber, I could still live in Florida. Where are you, Amber? Are you in Central Florida? Hmm. Nice. Where you go, where are you going in St. Small? Oh, so you're right in Bradenton. Oh, you're in Bradenton. Okay. All right. So you know the Bradenton Blues Club then, out in the boonies there, man. <laughs> that was good. I should drink more of that. I feel like I need the salt. Mm. Oh, you don't know it? Yeah, it's a little club in the middle of the fucking woods, man. <laughs> ah. Four years in a row. That's a lot of years, man. Yeah. Damn, son. What you gonna do? Mm. What you gonna do? Who I look like, Boo Boo the Fool? That's my catchphrase. Mm. Mr. Mary Beth? Uh, fuck around and find out. What's your catchphrase, people? Tell us what your catchphrase is. We need to know. What Everybody needs a catchphrase. Mine is Chris's is Poontang Coffee. Oh, okay. All right. If that's what you're into. And uh, Amber, what's your catchphrase? I think Amber's catchphrase is I've been naughty. Chris. No brain, no pain. They know everything here. I like it. No brain, no pain. I love it. <laughs> Good one, Trauma Mama. Who I look like, Boo Boo the Fool? Definite catchphrase. Define catchphrase. It's a phrase that kind of defines you. Mine would be, who I look like, Boo Boo the Fool? Mistress Mary Betts is? Fuck around, find out. Fuck around and find out. It's the thing you say. Mm -hmm. Jace, if you're going to be a musician, you got to have a catchphrase, man. It could be, good day, mate, mm -hmm. for you. There's a kink in my think. I love that, Amber. Amber, you are indeed a naughty girl. All right. That's all I could say. Yeah. There's a kink in my think. There's also a kink in my think. How about yours? Probably Mr. Many, Beth? Kinks yeah. many kinks in that. Many kinks in my think. Thinks. How about put a spank in your tank? <laughs> Jay, she you need a catchphrase. Ah. Trauma Mama, your catchphrase is awesome. Mm -hmm. Winnie the Pooh. Pooh is a nasty little guy. Mm. First of all, he doesn't wear pants. He doesn't wear pants. All right, can we start there? His best friend is a fucking donkey. 
who's depressed. Depressed donkey named Ehor. So you're He's not telling favorite. me there's some shit going on with Pooh and Ehor, man. That's Eeyore's for sure. My favorite. Listen, I once dated this girl. I told you about her. Mm -hmm. And um, it was weird. <laughs> but she had really nice boobies. And that's all I was thinking about was those boobies, man. What choices boys make. Dude, you you know, when you're single, you do you'd go pretty much out of your way well, for boobies. It really doesn't help girls because dudes don't usually rock their shit like right out there. What do you mean? You know, it's not they're not wearing these. No, it ain't that it ain't it ain't really things. up that way. It ain't like that for dudes, man. I know. Like, I mean, I guess some chicks check out the package. Of right? course we do. Then I'd and never get laid. The booty. If that was the way it was. I got a nice booty though. Different girls are into different shit. What what attracted me to you? What did you find attractive? You just felt like home. You just like big guys. I do, but you like big boys. I do, but I also ran the sound back in the stage and played juke festival. Huh. Jesus, Larry, you're a busy motherfucker. Jesus. Beat the meat. <laughs> That's Chris's. Chris's. Anyway, so I went over to this girl's house. She lived in Connecticut, and it was kind of a weird hang. All I wanted to do was go in the living room and sit on the couch and, like, you know, get down like James Brown. But <laughs> she had other plans. Oh. We had to have food. We had to talk. Oh, God, talking. Who the fuck needs that? Anyway, we wound up in the living room, and right as I'm about to unbutton the top button, she says, wait, before you do this, we have to do something. You have to read me Winnie the Pooh. So she gets the fucking Winnie the Pooh book out, and I look at the book. Sip of my tea. I look at her. Oh, I feel like home. I like that, Amber. Um. I look at her, I look at the book, I look at the titties, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm reading the book. So I read her Winnie the Pooh, and the rest was history, except it wound up not working out, so just as well. Who needs teeth, Pooh? The Pooh Bear? Who needs teeth? No, seriously, you know what attracted me to you when I first met you? Boobies! Boobies! Big old boobies. boobies. Now nah, you were just you were had a really um strong. You were a strong woman, mm -hmm. and you were nice guy. Give a deal. I can't miss it with blind Mr. Morris. Hey, it's an experience. Wow, there's so much going up here right now. Yeah, it was an experience anyway. I'm just saying that you got to understand guys will do a lot for boobies. <laughs> it's true. It's just the way it is, man. And Mistress Mary Beth, you have lovely boobies. Well, thank you. And I am very happy with those. A grant for what? What are you doing, Chris? Chris, what's going on here? But I got to read this. You should contact Wedner Booking in St. Paul. Oh, well, I have an agent, Chris. Who books me some shit? Motorboat. Yeah, but chicks got their shit too, man. Women got their own, you know, own perverted shit for guys, right? Yeah, yeah. And Mistress Mary Bent does not give a shit, man. I mean, she'll fucking just tell a guy right where it's at. Mm -hmm. Of course, now she's kind of taken with me. Mm -hmm. Larry's just, you know, letting us know what he's up to. Trauma mm -hmm. Mama. That's what he likes to do, and that's cool. The beauty of this chat is that we can be all over the fucking place. We don't have to focus on one thing. That's why it's so relaxing, man. Oh, I didn't like the joint, though. No. Happy birthday to <laughs> me. Happy birthday to me. I'm going to smoke this joint. My hair and... sticking to my face. There it goes. Face hair. Mm -hmm. I look good in your glasses, don't I? I think you look adorable in my glasses. Granny chubby. <laughs> Here we go. Well, Trauma Mama, we really appreciate you. You're a ripoff, I heard, L-O-J-K. I know what that means, dude. 
Four birthdays later, right? <laughs> Don't rush me, Amber. I'm 62, man. Damn. I'm 62 and four birthdays. I'll be 66. Mm. Oh, in 104 birthdays, I'll be... No. <laughs> Wait a minute. In... Nah, I was trying to get to 666. <laughs> it didn't work, no. Uh, <coughs> I want to take my time. As I get older, I realize that you're not in a rush. To the DeLorean, quick. <laughs> Back to the future. Mm. What if I met me? I didn't last if you're bad dancing, Chris. That's not true. Did you see me at Famous Dave's, dude? I bet you're a good dancer, dude. You know what can't dance. You know what can't dance. What's the matter, honey? You said the ashtray. The ashtray. The ashtray. Or something that can substitute as an ashtray. I've run my joint on it. It's ashtray. Knock that out. Did you get this out? Oh, yes. I think we might have to smoke several of these joints before the feed is over. Here you go, Mr. Mm -hmm. Beth. <coughs> Fort Thou, my love. Thank you, dearest. You're welcome, baby girl. I love you, Mr. Mary Beth. You are my mistress, and I love you. Mm -hmm. I love my new sweatshirt, by the way. I bought that for you. I know you did. As a birthday present. I like to buy people presents on my birthday. So, um... I was born in 1960, a long time ago. You know, when you you um fill out those things where you have to put your birth date, I got to scroll yeah. a lot until I get to 1960. And I pass all these other, like, you know, my kids were born in the 90s, man. And the 80s. When were your kids born? 94, 93? 92 and 94. 92 and 94. My kids were born in 90. I always fuck it up. <laughs> One seventeen ninety six. That's their birthday. I agree with you. I believe that's it their is. birthday. So they were born in ninety six. And I was born in sixty. And Edric was born in Oh he's seven and it's twenty twenty two. So he was born in two thousand five. Two thousand fifteen. Wow. Wow. We took our grandson out for sushi yesterday for his birthday. I think we talked about that yesterday. We'll talk about it again, God I'm damn just it. telling you. You got a shrub for the shirt? I have twin girls, yes. Theodora and Tipitina. And, um, and Mary Beth has two daughters as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I heard about that Foo Fighters movie. I heard it's really interesting, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We were talking about it last night on the feed. Yeah, I'm not that big a Foo Fighters fan. I liked them. I really liked Taylor Hawkins a lot. I thought he was a great drummer, man. I was really upset when I heard he died because I knew he had OD'd right away. And some people call me on the carpet saying, you shouldn't talk about people like that. <laughs> and I movie. just knew. I knew he had OD'd, man. I could tell by looking at him. Because um, many years ago, I had a drug problem. And once you're a drug addict, you recognize that shit forever. That's just the way it is. So, so sad that people are still dying from drugs, man. Don't do drugs. Do not the drugs, children. Set me up with what? What am I setting you up with, Chris? <laughs> A Chubb Father shirt? You're going to go on the website, papachubby.com, and order one, and then you will get... A Chubb Father shirt to come live to you. You can also order my new record, but I'm not shilling product here, man. This, this is more is like a hang. Out. We're just hanging out, man. Hanging out with our friends and uh, <laughs> making new friends. Drugs are bad, okay? Drugs are bad, okay? All right. I like when Mr. Garrison became 
Oh, no, that wasn't Mr. Garrison. That was the, the guidance counselor, dude. But I liked when Mr. Garrison became Mrs. Garrison. Yeah, Sash Jordan, I remember from, from a long time ago, man. She had a good cover of the Kev Mo song. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Try to be alone, you. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's a good one. So, let's talk about the Oscars. So, Will Smith, <laughs> bitch slap Chris Rock. Chris Rock said, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Who thinks it was staged? Yeah, yeah, he played with Alanis Morissette. I can't stand fucking Alanis Morissette, man. I really don't like her. Isn't that ironic? That was his song. Oh, is that it? It's like rain on a sunny day. Do I like the butanes? Never heard them, Chris. I gotta check them out. The butanes, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now if I like them. I can tell you if I like something. I think it was stage two. In, in hindsight, I'll tell you why. A couple of reasons. First of all, Chris Rock leaned into the slap. He knew it was coming. He was like, and even his reaction, oh, what are you doing up here? Hey, yeah. I'm checking out the butanes, dude. The butanes. See what we got. And it all went down the drain. Here we go. Here's the butanes. Three horns. Eh. Eh. Pfizer sponsoring Oscars. Yeah, Pfizer sponsoring the fucking Oscars. What the fuck? Drug for alopecia made by Pfizer. I like it. Yes, yeah, stage. Trauma mama, you gotta figure it out, man. Follow the money. Amber, Chris Rock. No, Chris Rock didn't make a statement. There's a statement going around attributed to him, but it's phony. Will Smith offered an apology, and it's bullshit. Will Smith is a whore. <laughs> Will Smith is canceled. Well, I'm done with Will Smith. <laughs> I want nothing. I was, you know what? The jury, I liked him. There were certain roles. Mistress Mary Beth wanted to jump his bones. Let's face it. You want to jump his bones, but yeah. his coot's still too goofy. Now he's but trying it's to act. Reality, so he's trying to act like he's a gangster. Well, he's a pussy. He's not. He's not a gangster, man. He's like, he came to Hollywood. He fucking made the rounds, met all the important people, joined Scientology. <laughs> Right, that's all we got. Get your butt here, homie. I'm coming. I appreciate the red table talks, though. I didn't see that, but I'll tell you what was really fucking beautiful, and they didn't televise it, was Lady Gaga with Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli. Okay. Liza Minnelli is cognitive <laughs> fucking fucked up like me. I'm not. I'm just stoned. Liza Minnelli is having real issues and it's really sad and gaga you could tell was in awe of her and when Liza Minnelli stumbled reading her cards gaga bent over to her and said don't worry i got you it was so beautiful and sweet so um it just made me love lady gaga even more um because i think she's awesome i love me some lady gaga
Mistress Mary Beth. She could be my mistress for a day if she would have me. Ah. Would you allow that, Mistress Mary Beth? Would you allow me to go and serve Lady Gaga instead oh, yeah. of you? Absolutely. Chris is a boxer. I'm a boxer too, man. I don't have a boxer in a while though because I'm getting old, but I grew up. Lady Gaga has been through some shit, and she's fucking so talented, man, in every way. She's an amazing musician, amazing singer, amazing songwriter, and a great actress, and not bad looking either, man. <laughs> and she got boobies. She got big boobies. Magic boobies. And she's Italian, which means she's probably a spanking mama. 440. And oh, you won 440 fights, Chris? Fuck, I ain't fighting you, did Mistress Mary Beth? Take care of him. <laughs> Tell him what your catchphrase is. Fuck around, find out. Dude, you don't want to mess with Mistress Mary Beth. Go on. Are you? Oh, first of all, is everybody here subscribed to our YouTube channel? Please do. We need your subscriptions, so please join us. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Rastafari. Remember the poor. Wait, you're... T <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, man, have that. Hold on. Chris, you're two wins and 89 losses? I thought you just said you were 440 and 0. Are you like that guy's, um, there's this guy, man. I forgot what his name is, man. He goes around and challenges people. Um, hold on. I'll find his name. He's like a fake boxing champion. Just remember about smoke that for a while. I'm going to find who this guy is. All right. Fake boxing champion. It'll come up right away. Charlie Zelenoff is his name. Mm -hmm. Hell no. She's German like me. Ah! Mrs. Mary Beth is German. No, you're not, are you? you don't not have, much. You don't have much German no. in you. You're mostly Irish, Irish which explains the temper. <laughs> <laughs> and English. And, and also the spankings, because Irish. In touch. Definitely uh, Irish. The Irish moms are known for the wooden spoon, just like the Italian moms. So there you go. You just can't help giving spankings, can you? Nope. Tell them what your daughter said today. When you said, "Oh, no. tell." Them. She said that I be I didn't become mother of spankings; that I've been one all along. She's always been the mother of spankings. Mm -hmm. I'm seven and zero against guitar players. Fuck that, man. Dude, I'll fight you. But I don't fight fair. That's the only thing, man. I practice fuck kundo, which means I will fuck you up. Kundo. <laughs> now, I don't want to fight nobody, man. Why you want to make war? Why you want to fight? We could go upstairs and make love all night. Yeah, we could do it in the kitchen, baby. We could do it in the hall. So tell me, pretty baby. <laughs> Don't give her any ideas, trauma mama. I need to sit down tomorrow. <laughs> That's right up her alley. You need to have naughty boys and naughty girls to spank, though, wouldn't you? I would need more than one. You need more than one. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to work that out. <laughs> I still think at the merch table, you should open a little spanking booth. <laughs> right? Yeah, that'll work. Buy, if they buy three CDs, they can have a free... <laughs> Yeah, but you need a spanking. Just come out and say it, honey. It's okay. You're safe here. This is your safe place. Amber might need a spanking, honey. <laughs> Some, is it community service hours. So yes. Static. Yes. The answer is yeah. You have static. Amber brought the static. She told you that. That's right. I forgot. So, Chris, you're seven and zero. Oh. I can't figure out your record, man. You tell me you're a boxer. First, you say you're 440 
and oh, then you tell me you're two and eighty nine, then you tell me you're seven and zero against guitar players. Bring your own cat and nine tails. Do you have a cat and nine tails? Show them the whip. You have a whip. Get your whip. What? You don't get it? <sighs> She's trauma. Mama said, "Bring your own cat and nine tails." Mm. I said, "You don't have a cat and nine tails." Oh, that's kind of a cat and nine tails. Show it. To, show it to the the feed. Show it to the chat, darling. Here's Mistress Mary Beds. Don't think you're using that shit on me right now. <laughs> Online, but um, look at that. She has her own lovely whip. You need to have some merchandise, man. <laughs> the mother is spanking some merchandise. <laughs> I'm not good at that. You're good at that. Yeah, yeah, that's my thing. It's a nice little whip. Yeah, it works. Yet. Trauma mama, you're bad. Trauma mama's a bad lady, I can tell. That's the best kind. That's where it goes. We like bad ladies. Eric Doyle, what's happening, buddy boy? Happy birthday to me, man. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. I'm smoking some weed, smoking joints, smoking Smoke. joints. Smoking joints, drinking beers. I'm not drinking beers, but I'm smoking joints. Oh, now you're a wrestler. Chris. <laughs> I think you might be a Zelenoff. <laughs> Chris, my son is a professional wrestler. How do you like that? My stepson, actually, but. <laughs> Drinking beers, beers, beers. Exactly, Amber. You should watch that movie again. It's a good one. How you feeling? The hair is sticking to my glasses. Oh, is that all? Yeah. That's great. He's in the wrestling business. He really is. He's a professional wrestler who goes by the name of Hot Sauce Tracy Williams. And before that, he was the Green Ant. That was his character. He's a nice kid, too. Really mild-mannered kid. Hey, the Rave, what's the biggest... Place of hashish. Well, I can answer that question very honestly. I did watch Kentucky Fried Movie Trauma Mama, but let me answer the air question. Hot sauce. Yep, that's his name. It's a good looking kid too. He looks like Superman. Um, like Clark Kent. <laughs> anyway, the rave. I have a friend in Amsterdam. Named Steve Hayes. And they called him that because at one point he was in control of all the Hayes weed in Amsterdam. And he's a hashish connoisseur. And apparently in Amsterdam, there are only like five or six people who get all the hash that comes into the country. And my friend is one of them. So if you go over to his house, he'll have the huge blocks. It comes in shoes. It's it's brought into the country in shoes. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that on here, but mm -hmm. whatever. I'm just talking the truth, man. And it's real hash. It's not only a sight to see, Amber, it's a sight to smoke. And sadly enough, every time I've been there and gotten some, Mistress Mary Beth was not smoking weed yet. She just started during the pandemic. But she was given spankings for a long time. One has nothing to do with the other. But wouldn't you say that weed makes spankings all the more better? Yeah, definitely. It makes everything better. <laughs> weed, 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 weed. Well, I'm 62, Mistress Mary Beth. Yeah. That's 62 wax. Yes, it is. Oh. So, yeah, and I've had real Moroccan hash and real Nepalese hash. It's like nothing you've ever smoked, man. It ain't like that bullshit you think you had, man. It's the real shit, man. Should be bad, man. Should be bad ash. Right, Mr. Smith? Yes, my love. It's quite a birthday joint. Mm -hmm. You are, darling. 
anything to? Y'all think of mine? Uh, I'm getting tired. We gotta get up early tomorrow, too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the best train I've ever smoked. Sensei Skunk. Wow. That sounds good, Amber. Um, I am partial to the diesel myself. These. I always like the these. This is some diesel right here. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that bud. That's a happy birthday bud if I ever saw one. Check that shit out, man. Ooh. Mia Borders. Who's that? The Rave. Yeah, they grew some good weed in Michigan, man. I remember that. They really did. Thanks, babes. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Trauma mama. You should have some weed, too, I think. I think it would be good for you. Where, where, oh, you're from Illinois. That's right. Mm -hmm. And Amber's from Florida. Mm -hmm. And the air rave is from... Alex G, thank you, buddy. Hey, you're from Moscow, man. I spent some time in Moscow in the 90s, man. How you doing, bro? I hope you're well, and I hope everything is well for you there in Moscow. I had a good time in Moscow. I'm sure it's very different than it was in the 90s, Alex G. It's amazing to get on here, huh? What's your name again? I don't know, he told me a name, but I'm stoned, so I can't remember. <laughs> oh, Trauma Mama's from Houston. That's right. I knew that. Yeah. I knew that. We like um, people from Texas. Yeah, we did. We had a good time, especially all the ladies are big in Texas, man. Everything's big in Texas, but the ladies are big, man. There was that one lady you were hanging out with, Mommy, that night, mm -hmm. remember? She was very nice. She had thigh-high boots on, mm -hmm. and um, I thought her and Mistress Mary Beth were going to have to um, do a little, um, shall we say, cultural exchange? <laughs> well, a man can dream, after all. So when are we going to have a spankathon, Mistress Mary Beth? Oh, have to work that out. There is a mouse from New Orleans. They call the rising mouse. I'm going to roll that butt up for my birthday in a minute. I'm stoned and I want to be stoneder. Amber, what do you think? House of the Rising Mouse? Naughty Amber. Naughty little Amber. Right in the corner with you, Amber. The Air Rave. That's a funny name, man. But I guess we all have Papa Chubby. What kind of a fucking funny name is that? House of the Rising Mouse. There is a mouse in the house. We don't have mouses in the house anymore. I remember folks connected with normal... With Grateful Dead to where they would have these big blue bags that would hold a pound of hash. Woo! I'd like to go there, man. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a hash smoker. I love hash. I really do. South side of Chicago. Baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just well, beware. Okay. Of a man named Leroy Brown. Now, Leroy, I'm out of trouble. You know, we're staying about six foot four. All them downtown ladies call him tree top lover. All the men just call him sir. Well, he's bad, bad. Leroy Brown, the baddest dude in the whole damn town. Better than old King Cole. 
meaner than a junkyard dog. Oh, deep dish. Oh, you're from Chicago, dude? I thought you were from fucking... I'm confusing you with somebody else. Yeah, you know, Chicago pizza, it's a different thing, man. Dude, we're from New York, man. We like the thin crust, man. There's only one place to go for pizza in New York. That's mm -hmm. Joe's Pizza. Joe's Pizza on 6th Avenue mm -hmm. is the best place at 6th Avenue and Bleecker Street. It's the world. best pizza in the world. So I'm going to roll up this bud in one joint right now. It's a big-ass bud. Here I go, breaking it up. Breaking the bud, breaking the bud, don't don't. Um, yeah, I don't know about Florida and pizza, man. I think the problem with Florida is like L.A. The water's not right. So um, I think you gotta um come to New York if you want pizza, man, or Napoli, mm -hmm. where pizza's from. Yeah, it's all about the water for pizza, man, because. It's really an art. Making pizza is an art. I've studied it, and I have not mastered it. The first, why do, why do pizzerias make better pizza than you do at home, even if you get their dough and you do it the way they did it? Well, for the first thing, oh, man, New York bagels, Amber, my weakness. I had one today. <laughs> Mr. Smith, that's going to get mad at me. <laughs> my spanking is... Getting bigger as as we talk. Yes. No, I had a big one on my way to get my guitars mm -hmm. because I had to eat something. Right. Right? Right. And then I didn't have fast food. And then I had, I got that McDonald's. <laughs> and fucking, I ate too much today. I did. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps me on a short leash. What, can I, what are you laughing at? You. <laughs> Why? I just love you. You better love me. Yeah. Yeah, because no, after after me, what are you gonna get? <laughs> get some guy. You're gonna. He's gonna make you. <laughs> gonna make you work. He's gonna spend all your money. Oh my god. What? Oh, my dude. I am your dude. You are. What my about dude. it though? What's your problem? You're out of your mind. I'm mildly insane. You got any water over there? No. Fair enough. Oh, wait. Here's a little. Let me just put that. So I'm rolling up another joint here. A second of joints, and this is ooh, apple pie strain. A very good strain, I'm going to add. Got the raw papers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> going to make it rock. A massive joint. This will be a massive joint indeed, Amber. Mm -hmm. Would you like to smoke it with us, honey? Come on. Come over here between Papa Chubby and Mistress Mary Beth. And you can smoke the joint with us. Hyde Park. <laughs> Eric Doyle wants to get stoned too, man. We'll pass it to you too. Well, we would be more than happy to have you, my dear. So, we're just playing. We're just playing fun games here. All right. It's amazing you can remember all these song lyrics. <laughs> Even smoking, I bet you can sing the intro from up. I just want to talk to you. I won't do you no harm. <laughs> this, the next line always to me, I, I just want to know about your blah, blah, blah. So called people form your depth of depth of life. So called people form. I heard you got your people in cages, locked in cages long ago. Things like love the world and let your fancy flow. Yes, it's true. I love Up from the Skies. I mean, it's one of my favorite Hendrix songs. I play it. I gotta, you know. I mean, it's it's hard. I gotta have the right band to do that stuff, man. And um, but. I'll tell you one thing that's going to happen in the spring. My buddy Mike Merritt 
who was originally played in my band many years ago and then got the gig on the Conan O'Brien show, which is over now, is coming up to New York to do several shows with Pop Chubby. And I'm very excited because when he does that, we're going to do some of that shit and make it rock, man. Because, um, yeah, the dough is important. Let's get back to the dough. Okay, the first thing, the reason why you can't make pizza the way they do in pizzerias is... Because they know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> no, the oven. Pizza ovens go to 800 degrees. Mm -hmm. Your home oven goes to 500 degrees. If you're lucky. Mm -hmm. Wood-fired ovens get even hotter than that. <laughs> exactly, mistress. Amber? Mm -hmm. Very good, Amber. Amber knows, mistress. Mm -hmm. She's being a good girl. So that's number one. You can't, you don't have the same oven. What helps though is you get a pizza stone and you put the oven on 500 as hot as it'll go mm -hmm. and you just leave it heating up. So I'm going to tell you about tomato sauce in a second. <laughs> second of all, you got to make the dough right. You got to use the right kind of flour. Not only double O flour, you have to use flour with the right gluten weight. Got it. it has to have the right gluten weight. It has to have a gluten weight between 180 and about 240. All right? Third, you have to have the right ingredients. You have to have yeast, warm water, salt, and flour. And the ingredients have to be combined in the order. Okay? So... You have to make sure that, oh, and sugar. You need some sugar to activate the yeast. And you got to make sure the yeast doesn't touch the salt because the salt will stop the yeast. So the way you do that is you mix your yeast and water together and you mix your salt into the dough, into the flour. And you add a little bit of flour and then the yeast and water and you activate it and then you add more flour. Then you make your dough. <laughs> Amber, you got it. You got to keep the dough in a warm environment. You have to let the dough rise, right? But even more importantly, after that, after it's risen, you have to put it in a place, cover it, and let it rest. If you let the dough rest for 24 hours, it will digest better. People try and do this too quick. Like a lot of Italian cooking from different regions, you have to take your time. Wet towel all the time. Very good, Amber. <laughs> um, and then you got to make your sauce. Now, you make a simple tomato sauce, right? You make a simple marinara sauce. And what you do is you start with the base of carrot, celery, and onion. And you chop that really <laughs> fine and you saute it a little bit. It's called sufrita. All Italian red sauces have that as their base. Then you add your tomatoes, your basil. Yeah. I could do food porn too, Amber, but um, <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to make it to 70 now that I'm 62. Um, anyway, so then you got to, the other thing, when you roll the dough out, you never use your rolling pin because it pushes all the gases out. So you roll it out by hand. You do it with your fingers. You work it with your fingers. Just like the way I <laughs> play guitar on Mrs. Mary Beth's Tissue. When I play tissue guitar, it's like that. <laughs> yeah, there's good pizza in New Jersey, Trauma Mama. Whatever is Italians is pizza. But, you know, a lot of the... Um, Pizzerias are no longer long owned by Italians. Mm. They're owned by Albanians. And um, it's a different world now, man. But um, pizza is great food. Not so great if you're diabetic. Mm. So I try to avoid it whenever possible. <laughs> Sometimes it's just not possible. <clears throat> Sometimes you got to eat pizza, Sometimes though. And when you do eat, eat pizza, pizza, you got to eat Joe's so pizza. So you eat good pizza. You don't waste time. You do it every oh, once no, in a while. Yeah. There's ducks in here. Are there geese in here? All right. Second birthday join of the night, everybody. Oh, 
Oh, Happy birthday Lord. to me. I'm 103. <laughs> I'm getting older by the minute, man. Mm, aren't y'all? It is. You're getting old, honey. Yep. 62. Holy shit. That means I get what? to do whatever I want. That's right. I get all the spankings I want now. Okay. Ripe old age of 62. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you worked at Sparrows, huh? Cool, man. Cooking with Papa Chevy. Let's get baked. I love it. <laughs> Howard the Duck. I remember Howard the Duck. Keto is the way to go for... I know, you're right, man. It really is, Trauma Mama. And I've done it. And um, I've made cauliflower pizzas and, mm -hmm. you know, lettuce burgers and all that shit, man. What's, oh, what, diabetes? Yeah, I'm trying to, I've been eating clean. We've been juicing because Mr. Mary Beth had an ulcer, which is gone now. We cured it with cabbage juice. Dr. Ted, <laughs> Dr. Theodore. <laughs> Ribeye for breakfast is good, man. Mm. As long as you don't have the taters and the toast. Yeah. So um, we've been trying to eat clean. And better, but today I didn't have a good day at all. I got it got away from me, and I knew Mistress Mary Beth couldn't eat today, so mm -hmm. I just went fucking. I'm gonna do whatever I want. <laughs> Hopefully, she won't ask. <laughs> yeah, well, my A1C has been pretty good. It's been under seven for a bunch of years now, and um, I find as long I don't eat sugar or rarely eat sugar. Um, I try and watch the carbs, and I just try not to eat in between meals, and it really helped a lot, man. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it that way, though. It ain't easy, man. I like all the bad stuff. I like fried foods. I like French fries. I like, mm -hmm. but you know what? Even those things, if you eat them as part of your meal and you don't eat a lot of them, it's not that bad, I don't think. But I do. I like all the bad shit, man. Chinese food. Oh, I love Chinese food, man. We got good Chinese food, don't we? Mm -hmm. And my Chinese wife. Mm -hmm. I have two Chinese wives. I have one in Amsterdam. Yes. Yes, you do. I can't wait. To, you think she'll be there when we go back? I hope so. Skyline Chili, huh, Eric? I will check that shit out, man. Hey, once again, we're asking everybody on this feed, please subscribe. We need subscription. 10.7, holy shit, Amber. That's really high. That's a naughty girl. Mm. Mistress Mary Beth, get the paddle. That's naughty. Amber's getting paddles. Yes. That's it, Amber. It's for your own good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that 2.30 is high, honey. You got to do something, man. Um, Maybe try... um. I don't know. See what meds they can give you or something, man. That's high. 2.30 is high. I mean, my resting blood sugar, even, you know, my, my last um, A1C was 6.7. My resting blood sugar was still about 150. Thank you. Share and subscribe. Exactly. Uh -huh. Thank you, Amber. Well, you just take care of yourself because we like you. And we like you on our chat as well as everybody else. Mm-hmm. Ribeye for breakfast sounds good, man. It does. It really does. See, now we got into another area here talking about mm. diet and health, and mm -hmm. which also spankings go very in right with all that, right? Because They're very important. What happens if you mental, catch you going to McDonald's? <laughs> mental health. But yes, if I catch you going to McDonald's, your bottom's going to suffer. I will, trauma mama. Jason Fung, MD, absolutely well. And, you know, here's the deal. I know what to do. I know how to reverse diabetes. I know how to do it. I just have to do it. And on a good day, I do. And on a bad day, not so much. But I'm trying. I keep trying. 
But it's harder as you, you're older too, man. You got to keep an eye on it. You got to keep an eye on everything. <laughs> All right. I'm firing this joint up, dude. I'm just like letting it dry a little bit, man, because it's such a good joint. This really is. This joint of apple pie is to the point. You ready, Eric? Mm -hmm. Wow. Holy free holy. And you know what's a good thing is that Weed doesn't really give me the munchies because we smoke really good weed. Is that why? Yeah. Only shitty weed gives you the munchies. Because I would have been in big trouble tonight. Oh, yeah. No, it's just called apple fritter. I also have another strain. Mm -hmm. I'm on metaformin, Amber. I've been on metformin for several years now. Um, it seems to help. My A1C without metformin had gotten up to 8.9 at one point, which was not good. And since I've been on metformin, it's been below 7 every time. So um, they say if you're below 7, it keeps you away from the uh, bad shit. You only eat things that fly or swim? No more pig, because they're actually very sweet. I hear you, man. Pigs are fucking Pigs beautiful. Pigs are cool as fuck. Yeah, maybe we should stop eating pig. Oh, yeah. I know. And cows, too. Oh, God. But they're so no. beautiful, but I love steak, man. <laughs> take it off. Don't take it off. <laughs> but also, everything eats and is eaten. We're going to be food for the worms eventually, man. Well... Hey, you know what? I think when I die, I want to be made into a tree. Like, the, you see that? Uh huh. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. They just plant you with some fucking bushes. <laughs> yeah, shove you in the trees. Good to go. When I die, I want to be um, made into a. Yeah, I'm due for another checkup, but I've been good. We've been really good for like the last two or three weeks now, right? <laughs> just we were good for a while. We were eating pizza under. three or four times a week. But, it, you know, you can get it right back in check, man. So we're, I'll tell you what really helps. Our first meal is vegetable juice, fresh vegetable juice. It's a base of red cabbage, one carrot, one green apple, little parsley, little spinach, cucumber and celery and um man it's amazing man it really is it puts you in heavy detox like right away like you'll feel fucked up for a while um but it's good shit i recommend it highly and it cured mistress mary Beth's ulcer and that's how i got into it i had an ulcer a couple of years ago and they put me on this medication that was, like, fucking killing me. So, um, we're trying. We're trying to keep it going, you know. Trying to keep it healthy. On the QT, like we say in the New York. The QT and the NY. Mm -hmm. The 411. Yeah. So, sadly, I heard Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. <laughs> I'm going to Instagram you and grab that. From what I have. Okay. Awesome, man. Um, it's really easy, man. It's um cabbage, green apple, carrot. You can you basically put whatever else you want in there. I would get organic vegetables though, but the um the juice really helps, man. A couple of years ago we were doing a meal replacement for one meal too, mm -hmm. and that was really good, right? Mm -hmm. That was all vegetable too, though. Yeah, but it was way based. That gave mm -hmm. us diarrhea. Yeah, it wasn't fun. Not fun. No, no. fun. No fun. It was very bad. Very bad thing. Not good, my friend. Oh, I have to go to the other set of pills. You gotta do those now. You sure? Is it late enough? Yeah. I just had to do it four hours before. No, I can't do them four hours before. Oh. It has to be all done by then. 
Mr. Smerybet's going to take poop pills. <laughs> um, actually, in all honesty, I do pretty all right on digital royalties. And in general, I haven't gotten, you know, I sell records. I sell streams. So, you know, I mean, I'm not getting rich, but it helps do collect. No, it's not do collect. They gave us something else, which is a lot more gentle. Luckily, so I can't say, but fuck Spotify, man. Don't do Spotify, man. Apple Music plays better. Digital shit pays better. And all adds up. Senna is good. Try my on a regular basis. It all adds up to a little bit or something, man. And like I always tell people, it's your money. So get your money. Got to get your money. That's what it's all about, man. And, um, you know, whether it's... Uh, Lunch money or mortgage money, it's your money. So, um, I did, however, check this out. This is great. Because I've never cast you. There's my uh, warrior woman. Oh, that looks good, man. Making a tushy. I'll give her a spanking. Naughty, naughty, naughty girl. You've been a naughty girl. I spanked my tattoo, Mr. Spirit Beth. Oh, yeah. Well, she's a naughty girl. Um, I don't know. Well, we're trying to get YouTube going, man. So we're hoping to get more followers. Um, It takes time. We are learning more. We just figured out how to do live streams on YouTube. We were doing them on... Um, Facebook, and um, but this is cool. We're getting a nice thing going here. Um, so years ago, the butt cheek doodle. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, you got to do a butt cheek doodle, Trauma. Okay. Trauma Mama says you got to do a butt cheek doodle. <laughs> Just put on your butt cheek for a good time. Press here. Oh, right. Okay. And put an arrow up to your boobies. <laughs> See how that goes. Um, in the 90s, I had a bit part in a movie called Analyze This. I got to go up to Sing Sing Prison, and I got to do a speaking scene with Robert De Niro, who I call Robert De Niro. Um, <laughs> I also got to spend the day hanging out with um, Billy Crystal, who was an awesome dude. De Niro was weird, man. But I get did get to do a speaking scene with him. Anyway, my scene was cut from the movie, but I still got paid. And I still get checks in the amount of $17. No way. You were an extra in Bad News Bears. Bad News Bears. That's Bad News Bears for you, Mr. Powers. <laughs> And Mistress Mary Beth was in a movie. She was in Mistress Mary Beth Spanks, the assistant principal. Sure How many of those you going to take? All of them. How many did they give you? Twelve in each round. And you got to take both? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Hmm. It's cool. Work. Well, that's the whole point of this. Well, we're doing it at night now. We do it in the afternoon with the dogs downstairs. We'll get back to that. Mm -hmm. But we've been busy in the day actually doing work. Because mm -hmm. for a long time, we were just kind of fucking off, which was fun. Mm -hmm. Now we're working. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I'm going to continue working, man. Mm -hmm. I might have to do something else, man. Like just sell vintage guitars and hang out. Because it's so much fun. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting tired. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. That's some good fucking weed, man. I will say that much. Anyway, I hope you're all smoking on something good. And, um... Yeah, um, we want to do a podcast too. So, in in essence, we're starting with this as a podcast here, 
We wanted to do a Sopranos podcast because mm. we're big Sopranos fans. Any Sopranos fans out there? Dum, 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 boom. Woke up this morning, got myself a gun. It's really nice weed, man. It's it burns really well. Some weed doesn't burn well, man. It's too wet. And some weed looks really good and tastes really good, but it doesn't get you high. And the whole point is mm -hmm. smoking this shit is not to be cool. The whole point of it is to get high. Mm -hmm. I remember when a nickel bag cost a nickel. Yeah. Um is your tattoo warrior woman's name Isis. Her name is Funny Nose. I'll tell you why. Here she is. You see, her nose is all fucked up. Because when the guy was doing it, this guy in the Bronx, Darren the Dude, mm -hmm. while he was doing her face, there was a chick in the studio waiting to get to a dude who had huge fucking boobies. And he was looking at her. I'm like, hey, dude, you mind looking at the... Oh, shit. And he fucked up her nose. And I'm like, what am I going to do, man? You can't unfuck it up. <laughs> so, there you go. Fucking broken nose. You gave her a broken nose? Look, I'm not... Well, look, I'm not kidding. No, I look at her nose. It's all that. fucked up. I realize that. That's but she got a nice booty and nice legs. You like your women a little on the rough side. What can I tell you? I like you, Mrs. Yeah. Mary Beth. You're my woman. I don't have women anymore. <laughs> but when I did have women, I was an equal opportunity employer. Of course you are. I liked all sorts of women. Mm -hmm. I wanted, I really, I wanted to experience the full breadth of the feminine, divine comedy and drama. My first bag was a nickel bag, a half gram for five dollars. Wow. Mm. Twenty-five a quarter now. Twenty-five a quarter. Shit, where you get weed? A hundred dollars an ounce? I pay more than that, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, you gotta get the good shit, man. It's important to have the good oh. weeds. This water is kicking my ass. What do you mean? It's so much water. Now drink it. I know. Don't complain. Yeah, I never had real Thai stick. I don't think I had shit they call Thai stick. Yeah, it was just see. weed tied on a stick. I once, though, had a woman tie me and beat me with a stick. Does that count? While she smoked a joint. All right, she that definitely give, counts. She wouldn't give me any. Oh, even better. Amber's making an ew. <laughs> Back in the day, it was 25 a quarter. Um, Wow, 100 an ounce. Yeah, I guess so. Well, see, I'd, I stopped smoking weed for a long time. Yeah, I, I get it for about two two fifty, Amber, for really good weed. But in the 90s, weed was like fucking $600 an ounce, man. It was ridiculous. And it was hard to get weed sometimes. Now there's an abundance of marihuchi and lovely dispensaries where you can purchase it. Indeed. Agree to smoke weed. Trauma Mama, your first dance was $10. I remember $50 an ounce. Hey, Mr. Mary, by the way, would you consider making another um, broth? Yeah. They were very good. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to buy a quarter pound for $150, four ounces. Sometimes of like Acapulco gold, really good weed, man. And um, and then I'd break it up in nickel bags and I'd sell it, and I'd make an ounce for my head. Texas, yeah, man. 
Um, Texas was rough, though, back in those days for weed. I think it still is, man. I think you still get a lot of um, – no, I'm drinking vegetable broth because I want to live to be 70. You look very beautiful, Mistress Mary Beth. You're looking exceptionally lovely this morning. Oh, it is. This room is so smoked out. Is it really? We're smoking a lot of weed in here. <laughs> we haven't smoked big fat joints in a while. <coughs> we were smoking those one hitters. What's your favorite method of smoking, everybody? How do you like to imbibe in the marijuana? I like a good old fashioned joint. I'm not much of a blunt person, man. Mistress Mary Beth is beautiful and smart and strict. <laughs> and she is a brutal task mistress. Pipe. I like a pipe. You have a nice little pipe. We've been using these little glass one hitters, which have been nice. Little chillums are nice. I don't know where my chillum is. I'll chill him and dill him. I'll chill him and trill him. A blunt. This one? Yeah, this is a good one. Right here. This holds a nice amount of weed, which I enjoy. She's a newbie. I wouldn't exactly call you a newbie. She let's put it this way. She may be a beginner with the weed, but she's um Hung out with me, so I educated her pretty quickly. Ah, nice, Amber. Yeah, I've never, I, I guess I, you know, I'm a little too old to have been into blunts, man. We didn't smoke blunts back in the day. We rolled joints with fucking easy waters, loose leaf papers, and then bamboo, and then we got... Um, oh, what were those papers, man? They were like really thin papers. We used to steal all the tracing paper out of the art room. Tracing paper, yeah. Yeah. That would work. Thank you, honey. If it was thin enough, it would work. If not, it was pretty gross to smoke. But then I became a snob and I wanted to use the thinnest paper possible. But now I, I really like these raw papers. The one and a halfs because I'm older and my fingers... A little slower than they used to be. Like that, huh? Where'd you go, Mr. Mary Beth? I ran away. You ran away? Yeah. Get back here. Come right back. Get back here. Roll in the air, yeah. I feel you, trauma mama. I can never roll a blunt. I never figured it out. I think you gotta use tobacco too for blunt. Or tobacco wrapper, which I'm not so into either because I don't like tobacco. But some people do that. In in Europe, man, they mix everything with fucking tobacco, man. This fucking water is making me cold. <laughs> it is? Yeah. Is it cold water? Well, it's cool water. It's not what? No, ice do cubes. It. <clears throat> so there, that's the way it goes. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> we've been on for an hour and a half, Mr. Smart. Oh, wow, look at that. What do you think about saying goodnight? We probably should. It's All right, everybody. Wish down. Mrs. Mary Beth good luck on her colonoscopy tomorrow. <laughs> And we love you all, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you all soon. right? Have a great night. Bye-bye. <laughs>